Hello, hello, queens. It's Kanisha with Currency Queen Budgets. In this video, I will be showing you guys how I plan to pay off some of my debt using the debt snowball method. If that is something that you're interested in, stay tuned. Okay, guys, so if you are new, Welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for coming back to show me your love and your support. I really appreciate it. So in this video, I will be going through and showing you the debt snowball method that I am going to use this year for my to pay some of my debt off. I did one last year, but I never went by it because I just got distracted with other things. This year, I am on my debt-free 2023 journey, and I am paying off debt as much as I can all this year. So, let's get into what my debt snowball is going to look like. So... I am going to be working out of my workbook that I created. It is called the Debt Crusher um, book. And this book just has information that allows me to keep up with my debt in one place for the whole year. So I am going to jump into that. And these markings, as I explained in my video before this one, I went ahead and just marked all of my pay dates down here that way it makes it easier for me to be able to look and see what i'm getting paid without having to you know try to figure it out so we are going to jump into this debt snowball okay and i'm tr i'm going to try to explain this the best way that i can i know everyone has a different way of explaining it but this is what makes sense to me it could be the right way it could not be the right way but this is how I'm going to do it. I am going to zoom in a little so you guys can see better. Okay, because sometimes it takes a minute for my camera to focus. But if it does, I'll just kind of move my, my um, book around just a little. So what we are going to do first is we are going to... Fill in what we will be paying for this year. Okay, so this is what I will be paying for this year. I just wrote the month and the year up here at the end. You write down your debt here, and I just left space where you can write. And you guys see I wrote it in different ways. You can write it however you want to. And I'm not liking the way this is looking. Give me one second. Okay. So that is so much better. It's not like 100% better, but it's better and it's close. You guys can see. Okay, so right here, I am going to, on this side, I'm just going to write down my months. And I am just going to write the first letter of each month. Okay, and the payments that we will be doing, let's do, I'm trying to get this in frame for you guys. I'm going to write down card one, card two, 
card two, card three, cell one, and cell two. Now, I do have a payment for my cell phone, but I'm not going to put that on here because one of those payments come out this month and I think I'm just going to go ahead and pay that extra $43 and go ahead and get that paid off this month as well. So I'm not going to put it on here because it's not a huge balance on there. But for my, let me scoot some things over. For my card one, I am going to do the minimum payment which is 300 no it is not 300 for the minimum payment the minimum payment is two twenty dollars the balance is three hundred and seventy nine dollars and i also added a column here if you paid it off yes or no uh, this will be probably something once you pay it off you write it on there or at the end of the year however far out your your bills go if you don't get to pay it off this year then you'll just put no and go into next year with that remaining balance so for card number two it is 25 dollars for the minimum and then my balance is 661 dollars for card three my minimum balance is $44, and that balance is $870. For cell phone one, the minimum balance is $25, and the balance on that is $599. And for cell two, the minimum is $30, and that balance is $612. Now the thing with the debt snowball method, it is like a compounding uh, payment. And that is what I'm going to explain to you today. So what I want to start with for my debt snowball for the month, for every month, I'm going to do an extra $200. Now you can do whatever you are comfortable with, with your income. If you just feel like you can do an extra $20, $10, that is fine. As long as you compound in all of your money together each month. And by compounding it, this is what I mean. So, I kind of want to zoom out a little so you guys can see the entire page. I mean that's not that's not so bad but um you guys can see the numbers that you need to see okay so for for January since I am going to start with $200 right let me grab my calculator so I can show you guys My debt snowball payment is going to be $200, and I will have that $200 extra every month to go on each bill. So we're going to do that $200 that we're starting every month off with, and we are going to take our minimum payment for card one, which is $20. So we're going to add $20 to that $200, and that's going to give us a total of $220 for January. So we are going to write 220 here. So for January, we have $220. For card two, you are going to pay the minimum payment, which is 25. For card three is 44. For sale one is 25. And sale two is 30. All right, so what I did was I took that $200 plus the $20 that I owe for um, card number one and put this here. And this is where the compounding starts. 
for every other card that you owe or every other bill that you owe, you pay the minimum amount that you have to pay. Nothing more, nothing less. So for February, what we're going to do is we are going to take what we started with, our, which is our balance, is $379. Subtract that from $220. That gives us a total of $159 that we have to pay for February. So I'm going to go ahead and write $159 that we have left over because that is what we are going to pay. So what we're going to do, since we didn't use this whole 200, we are going to do, start off with your $200 plus your 20, which is for the month. And then you will subtract that $159 and that will leave you with a total of $61. Now that we have $61 left over, what will we do with it? Okay, so with that $61, what you're going to do is add it to card two. So card two, you're going to take that $61 that was left over from here, and then you are going to add your minimum payment of $25. And $61 plus $25, and that leaves you with a total of $86. So you have $86 that you are paying for February on card two. But on card two, card three gets $44. Cell phone one gets $25. And cell phone two gets $30. Okay, so what we're going to do is go for March. Now, we have no payment for card one on March, so I'm going to write paid off. Because that is when it should be paid off. So, we are going to move to card two because we have no payment for card one. We are still going to use that $20 that we were paying on card one so we are going to take that two hundred dollars that we're going to use for our debt snowball payment every month and we are going to add that twenty dollars plus twenty five dollars which is the minimum payment for card two and you have a total of two hundred and forty five dollars now, let me explain because I was explaining this to someone else and they literally wanted to take their payment once they paid this off. They wanted to take that and spend it. Guys, you don't spend it. And this is where it comes in and we are compounding those payments to make larger payments to pay off it quicker because you was already paying that $20 minimum every month to pay this so you're not missing that twenty dollars we're just going to move that twenty dollars over and over and over we're going to keep on using that same twenty dollars over again till we get as much debt paid off that we can so now we are going to look at that we paid 245 86 and 25 now that doesn't quite reach 661 dollars not yet so what we're going to do you can add that up and see how much it is we're going to do that real quick so i have 356 and we have 661 minus 356 so we owe a total of 305 dollars on that card so of course you guys know we do um have enough for 245 dollars so we're going to take that $245. Let me fill this in because I get excited. Okay, so we're going to start with that $245 again for this month. And these will stay $44, $25, $86, $25. And 30. 
And remember, we're only paying minimum until we finish paying off one bill. Okay, so we are going to add up for card two, 245 plus 245 plus 86 plus 25, we have $601. So what we owe on here is only $60. So we are going to put $60 here and that is $661. So what we're going to do is take that 245 because we know we are paying 245 every month for this card and we are going to subtract that $60 that we had for this one now we have $185 left what we do with that 185 do we go shopping do we go buy a pair of shoes no we are going to move that over to card three so we have 185 left on card two for May. So what we're going to do in May, we are going to take that 185 and we're going to add that $44. And that's going to give us a total of $229, guys. The power of compounding is what this is all about. $229. So what we are going to do from here is we are going to take our payment, snowball payment, of $200 plus card one, plus card two, plus card three. And that gives us a total of $289. All right. So we only owe, for card three, we owe $870. So let's add this up really quick because we could be close. So we're going to do 289 plus 229, 44, 44, 44, and 44. So we have a total of $694. So I'm going to take 870 minus 694 and that is going to leave me with $176 for July. So July, we are going to pay this card off $176. And you guys see I focus on the card that I'm working on more than anything. So, we have paid off a card in July. So, here I'm going to write paid off. Really, I can write it here, but I'm just going to write it here just so I can see. And we're going to pay off this card too. Okay, so just in seven months, we paid off all three credit cards using the compound method. And we are going to continue for August for cell phone number one. All right, so what we are going to do, cell phone number one, we owe $599. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our $200 remember we're still compounding we're going to take that 200 plus this 20 25 plus this 44 and then we're going to add the 25 from the payment that we have for our cell phone one and that gives me and I actually got ahead of myself guys because I did this wrong. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Let me go back. I'm sorry. So, from this 176, right? So, we're going to take that 289, which is that 200 plus 20, 25, and 44 is 289 so we're going to subtract that 176 and it's going to give us 113 dollars 
right? So we're going to take that $113 and add that 25. And that is going to give us $138 for July. All right, and we're still going to pay $30 for July for sale number two. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to add all of this up to see how much we have here because we owe $599 on cell phone one. So I have $25, $25. What am I doing? I'm just going to do 25 times 6. Plus 138. So that is $288 that I have paid already. So we're going to take $599 minus 288. And that's going to leave us with $311. Right? So what we're going to do is... Going to add up those compound numbers, which is 200 plus 20 plus 25 plus 44 plus 25, and that is $314. Okay, so what we're going to do is take that 311 that we owe, and we are finished with cell phone one so we have three dollars left over for from here since we had 314 so what we're going to do is add that three dollars over onto sale phone two and to guess what we get to do we get to write pay it off All right, so what we're going to do now is we are going to add everything up. Everything that we paid will get paid on cell phone number two. So we have our $200 plus our 20 plus 25 plus 44 plus 25 plus 30 equals $344. Okay, so we're going to do $344 for the month of September. Okay, so let's add this up and see how much it is. So I have 30 times 7. 30 times 7 is 310 plus 33 plus 344 is $377. That is not right. So I have 7 times 30 equals 210 plus 33 plus $344. That leaves me with a total of $587. So I only owe 612 on there. So let's take 612 minus 587. I think it was 587. Yes. So all we owe left on this cell phone bill for October is $25. $25 for our last payment. And in October, we paid that off. And in a matter of 10 months, we paid off five debts, y'all. Isn't that awesome? I'm just going to... I'm just... Zoom out just a little so you guys can see how I did that. And how simple it is to get all of your bills, as many bills as you can, paid off in one year. This will be a total of... 379 plus 661, 870, 599. So that will be a total of $3,121 that I will pay off in three months. That is awesome, guys. That is awesome. Um, 
So that will actually take away from my total that I owe $1,197 is one oh one nine nine seven minus thirty one twenty one and that leaves me with ninety eight thousand eight hundred and seventy six dollars I put a small little dent in it um but that is a start somewhere but my goal is to pay off ten thousand dollars so for the month for this year is my goal to pay ten thousand dollars in debt off so once i finish this right here i will then roll into my car note and that's what will take off the majority of that ten thousand dollars guys i am so excited and i hope and pray that i am able to stay on track and get all of this paid off this year um, we know things happen, but this is my plan and we know everything with intention start with a plan. So, um, this is my plan and this is how I plan on starting my journey. Now I may finish paying everything off before now, because if I get extra money, whatever extra I get, I'm just going to start just throwing on these cards or, whatever everything is just going to go towards my debt so my I, I also i plan on slowing down on my savings challenges to get a lot of these bills done i'm not going to stop my savings challenges completely but my plan is to put more towards my debt at the beginning of the year and then finish out those savings challenges strong so i'll still be doing savings challenges here and there from my rollover money from my cash stuffing i will have my my um savings challenges money from there so we are focused on this debt and my goal is to have all three credit cards paid off by february we will see how that go but guys, yeah, that is how the debt snowball method works. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope I was able to explain it okay to where you guys understand everything. If not, just leave me a comment. If you don't understand, guys, then we can do this over. You know, you know I'm always into showing the right way or figure out a way that will help you learn how to do your debt snowball. But guys, this is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope if you have not already subscribed to my channel that you consider subscribing right now. <laughs> Hit that notification bell. Hit that notification bell. Leave me a comment. Oh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, y'all. Oh, and leave me a thumbs up, y'all. That way I can stay in the algorithm. Y'all have been showing so much love and support y'all and i just want to say thank you again but i'm gonna jump off of here and i will talk to you guys later bye